Good day, everyone. Today, we will be discussing describing the changes in the position and length of shadows in the surroundings as the position of the sun changes. Together, let's make learning science fun and easy. Do you know how this shadow is formed? This lesson will help you describe the changes in the position and length of shadows in the surroundings as the position of the sun changes. Shadow is a dark area formed when straight light rays are blocked by opaque objects. When light strikes on opaque objects, they never allow light to pass through and form shadows. So, shadows are formed when light strikes on opaque objects. Let's do this. Prepare the materials listed below. The title of the experiment, How Are Shadows Formed? Block the path coming from the flashlight. With a thick cardboard, record your observation. What do you observe on the wall when light strikes an object in the dark room? Describe what you observed. The object never allows light to pass through and form a shadow on the wall. Did you get the same result outside the house? Why? No, because the outside environment is well lit and no trace of darkness. That is why it didn't form a shadow. What did you observe when light strikes a clear plastic sheet? What was formed and why? When light strikes a transparent object, it will not form a shadow. The transparent object let all the light pass through them. Based on your observation, what are the shadows? Shadow is a dark area formed when straight, straight light rays are blocked by opaque objects. When light strikes an opaque object, they never allow light to pass through and form shadows. How are shadows formed? Shadows are formed when light strikes on opaque objects. Do all objects form shadows? Why? No, because those objects that blocks the light only form a shadow. A transparent or a clear object let all the light pass through. That is why it will not form a shadow. Let's do this. The title of the experiment is Why Do Shadows Change in Position and Length? Record your observation in the table below. Time, 8 a.m. Actual length of pole, 30 centimeters. Length of the shadow of the pole at 8 a.m. 60 centimeters 
difference in length 30 centimeters 10 a.m. actual length of the pole 30 centimeters length of the shadow of the pole at 10 a.m. is 40 centimeters difference in length 10 centimeters 12 noon actual length of pole 30 centimeters length of the shadow of the pole at 12 noon is 2 centimeters difference in length 28 centimeters 2 p.m. actual length of the pole 30 centimeters length of the shadow of the pole at 2 p.m. is 30 centimeters difference in length 0 centimeters Describe the shadow of the pole at 8 a.m., 10 a.m., 12 noon, and at 2 p.m. As the sun rises in the morning or sets in the afternoon, it appears in a lower horizon. Its rays are slanted as they heat the ground, so longer shadows are formed. When the sun is high or nearly above the horizon, the sunlight strikes the ground at nearly a right angle so shorter shadows are formed. When the sun is directly above the horizon, the light rays of the sun strikes directly above the object. So, no visible shadow is seen on the ground since the shadow of the entire body would fit in its footprints. At what time is the shadow of the pole longest? Why is this so? At 8 a.m., the shadow of the pole shows the longest because it appears in a lower horizon. Its rays are slanted as they hit the ground. At what time is the shadow of the pole shortest? Why? At 12 noon, the shadow of the pole shows the shortest because it appears in a directly above the object. What did you observe with the position and length of the shadows at different times of the day? The direction of the rays of the sun changes, hence shadows move or change in position. What have you noticed about its position at different times of the day? Did it stay in one place throughout the day? The position of the shadow at different time of the day changes. It didn't stay in one place. What do you think would likely happen when you continue to measure the shadow of the pole until the sun had set at 6 p.m. Do you think the pole forms its shadow? Why? If I will continue to measure the shadow until 6 p.m., there will be no more shadow formed because there will be no more rays of the sun. How do you relate the changes in the position and length of shadows with that of the changes in the position of the sun? In a day, the position of the sun in relation to the earth changes. This is because the earth is rotating on its axis. Therefore, the direction of the rays of the sun also changes, hence, shadows move or change in position.
What does the activity imply in your day-to-day -day activities at home? Since some of the activities at home require the needs of the sun, it is important to note that different directions in which its shadow formed. For example, when you are doing laundry, it is better to put up your clothes from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. since this will give you a direct ray of sun. Let's do this! Below are illustrations of three identical flowers. Draw the shadow of each as indicated in the given time and the position of the sign. Describe each illustration. The direction of the shadow in the picture is... As the sun rises in the morning or sets in the afternoon, it appears in a lower horizon. Its rays are slanted as they hit the ground, so longer shadows are formed. The direction of the shadow in this picture is... When the sun is high or nearly above the horizon, the sunlight strikes the ground at nearly a right angle, so shorter shadows are formed. The direction of the shadow in this picture is... When the sun is directly above the horizon, the light rays of the sun strikes directly above the object, so no visible shadow is seen on the ground since the shadow of the entire body would fit in its footprints. Let's do this! Read and analyze the situation given below. Find out how you can solve the problem. Have you seen a shadow puppet show? Puppeteers use shadow figures and dialogue to tell a story. A group of pupils want to present a shadow puppet show about a tree that grows larger over time. However, the group has only one cut of the cut of the three. If you were one of them, how would you solve this? Investigation question, how can the size of the shadow be changed? If I were one of them, I will suggest to change the direction of the light to project an effect of a growing tree. In that way, we can still show our audience how trees grow larger over time. Let's do this! Read each item carefully. Choose the letter of your answer. At which time of the day can you have the shortest shadow? The correct answer is letter C. At which time of the day can you have the longest shadow? The correct answer is letter A. Why do opaque objects form shadows? The correct answer is letter D. 
When does an object cast a longer shadow? The correct answer is letter A. When are shadows formed? The correct answer is A. Thank you for watching. Till our next science lesson. Goodbye!